Civil Site Design on Civil 3D and AutoCAD has the option of using grips. Now these grips can be used with your Civil Site Design surface models and can also be used with the Civil Site Design strings that are generated on screen. By default, these are turned on. Now if they're not, you can find these under the Roads tab, Active Drawing pull down, and click on the Grip Settings button. In here you can choose whether or not to show grips for strings, surfaces and our Civil Site Design Kogo points and then dictate the size of those particular grip and the colour when they are um, shown or displayed in the drawing and when they are then selected within the drawing. For surfaces all you need to do is to make sure that for a particular surface you have either the contours or the mesh displayed because if you do you can then select or left click on that particular element of the display, hover over the circle and immediately you are offered information about the um, surface that you selected. You can also then choose to turn on and off the contours or triangulation of that surface if you want to. You've also got the option at your fingertips of running a water drop. So if I left click on water drop now I can begin to just simply hover my mouse over that surface and if I choose to I can left click to place a water drop simply pressing escape to finish. We can also run the Inquire Level tool and rebuild the surfaces or models if we choose. Surface grips have another benefit in that they can be repositioned. So if I left click and then hover over the grip and left click again, all I do is simply left click to reposition the grip and this will give me alternative information about the particular point where I've moved it to. The grips for the strings work in a similar fashion, so if I left click on some of the line work here for my road design, you can see that we've got um, grips being displayed which show the change, the crossfall and the offset. If I hover over one of the grips, I'll be not only provided with the string name, which can be very useful, particularly when you may be running um, curb returns. If I just hover over the curb return here, you can actually get immediately the name of that curb return, which can be quite useful. The key thing is that I can also open up information about that curb return straight from this particular menu. So if I did want to open up the design data form or the vertical grading editor, rather than referencing that name and going up to the ribbon to find the vertical grading editor, I can now simply access it from a click within this particular menu, including things like edit curb returns. So some of this is actually contextual depending on what you've picked. You've also got the option of clicking on the center line and this will give you a slightly different range of results. Now, depending on um, what version of the software you're using, you may find that when you left click over the center line that you're only picking up your alignment and for whatever reason you can't see the grips. The main reason for this is likely to do with the fact that the line work for the center line is not being turned on for civil site design. To turn this on, you would go to the roads tab, click on the assign layers pull down or it could be the CAD output pull down and check assign layers. What you may find is that the center line line work is not being displayed in the drawing. So I'm simply going to check that on, click OK. Now we can see the civil site design line work being displayed. I can left click on the center line, we can see the grips, and if I hover over one of those grips, you can see that I get a slightly different range of options here. So I can actually add network strings such as curb returns cul-de-sacs etc. I can still directly open up things like the design data form and vertical grading editor but in addition I can rename the string, resample and add extra sections. The string grips also have an additional feature related to the batter line work. If I left click on the batter line work for this particular string when I hover over the grip I'm still provided with a selection of tools but in addition I can also left click on that grip and reposition the edge of the batter and I could use this maybe to fix the location at uh, positions of my choosing. When I've run auto model here that will refresh the model to um, update it to the associated line work as you can see there. The way that this has been done is that we have design data form entries being added every time we make a change so to actually access the edits that we've made here we can simply hover over the grip and click on the design data form. And you can see here for every edit that we've made, we have used a uh, fixed width from centerline entry to position the batter at those particular locations. If you want to edit those entries, all you do is left click on the grip again to reposition and then run auto model to update the model. If at any point you find that your batter line work and your model line work are not aligning, it's always worth adding extra sample sections within that range to ensure that the model and the line work align.